We're going to check out some new Vision Pro apps today, and we're going to start right up with Spatial Flow Runner. Okay, we're going to want to stand for this one. All right, we move by pumping our arms and then open hands to break. And this one, you just go ahead and collect coins and run through a bunch of levels. So let's check it out. So I kind of rotate and I just kind of look left or right when I want to turn. Collect as many coins as possible because for every, I think, 100 coins, I go ahead and collect an extra life, which then can keep me moving if I fall off the platforms. And you'll see it gets harder and harder. So here I gotta have a little bit more strategy. This thing's rotating, trying to get me off. There we go. It looks like this slows me down a little bit, that gray thing. Oh, oops. So that hit me. Now I have two lives, so I'm going to lose one. Shoot. I can do this. That might have looked shaky, but I had to put a lot of effort into that one. Okay, I think you get the point there. That is Spatial Flow Runner. You know, that's actually a pretty fun game. That gets me working out, getting sweaty a little bit. Whew. Next up, Doggy Dogfight. This one you get to fly a plane kind of in your space and battle other planes. So let's see what this looks like. First off, you have a few settings you can play with. I'm going to show you with my hands. You can actually play with the gamepad and keyboard for much tighter controls, but we can actually just use both of our hands as well. So I'll show you how that one works. So we can see here on the left, we can roll left and right or pitch up and down. And then it's looking at your right hand for firing the gun, launching rocket and stealth. So if we look down here, we got to keep our hand level to kind of start the control. So there we go. And I'm going to try to fight these planes. And it's kind of weird when you're in the third person to try to control this properly, but it's not too bad. Oh, the balloon's in my way. All right, I got to try to get that purple plane. There we go. Oop, do I need one more hit? The controls are pretty hard. You can change your sensitivity in the settings. This sensitivity seems to be my favorite, but yeah, it's it, it's hard to get it right with just your hands. Uh-oh, low on fuel. I think I'm out of ammo too. All right, that didn't go well, but that gives you a view on doggy dog fight, kind of what that one looks like. Uh, it gets more and more complicated. There's more planes to shoot down, but that's a little taste of what that one looks like. Next up, we've got TGV Inui, and this is a French train company that's made this Vision Pro app that allows you to kind of explore the train and see what it's like to ride it. And here we are in the train. So while we're riding in this train, that shows you a few things about the train. It's kind of like a marketing app. It does mention you can display your Mac in the train. I was trying to play around with this. I took my Mac out to see if I could actually work while I was sitting in the train. I thought that would be a pretty cool feature. I could not get it to work, but I'm hoping that will be a little bit smoother moving forward. You can see we're kind of ramping up our speed here, actually. If we go to our settings, we can choose the speed. We're going to go high speed. We can go comfortable or even just kind of still if we go disabled. But you can see we're kind of ramping up here at 130 kilometers an hour. And yeah, you kind of do get that sense of speed. But I'll say I don't feel sick at all. Uh, it feels very comfortable just kind of looking out the window. We can't physically walk around the train. If I start to move, you'll see it uh, starts to turn black. So we can just sit here and relax and explore some of the other features of the train and look through their marketing materials as I'm sure they would love. So they got this whole immersive gallery. 
You can kind of see real pictures of the train. And all these pictures are all spatial. You got some videos here, and then it shows you different destinations. It would be cool if it showed you live on the map where you actually were. I'm not sure how much it's really matched up with reality if they're using like Google Earth, for example, but you can't see that in the app. Otherwise, I think you get the point. This is the TGV Inui train. Next up, Soothing Voids. This is more of a meditative app here. It kind of shows these little 3D blocks around your space. I'll show you quickly what each of these settings look like. Uh, let's start with In Your Space. And that's it. We can kind of look at these little squares. They fly around in 3D, and you can play with them. Kind of touch. You can kind of choose individual ones even. So I can kind of push them away. Or if I choose one void, I can kind of point it out. And it's, you know, just kind of an interactive 3D meditation, in a sense. Let's quickly go through the rest. We got underwater. It's a nice environment here. But it's the same thing. Next up, Divine White. Same idea. The difference now is that they're triangles rather than squares. How about that? I like the white, though. It's pretty cool. And then last up, we've got Noir, the Black Void. You could guess what this might look like. It does still allow me to see my space, but it's just very much dimmed down. But it's not just an entirely black void. I think I wish it would be totally black, but you can't get everything you wish for. And those are the soothing voids. Next up, we have Hand Physics Lab. I did a longer video about this one when it first came out last week, but this is a pretty cool one. Very big game that allows for all sorts of customization and levels and all of that. But I'll show you really quickly what it looks like for those who haven't seen. You have kind of a sandbox or different puzzles. So let's do just a couple of puzzles. We'll show you what it looks like here. And by the way, we can be in our own space. You can see the skeleton hands, or we can choose to be in, let's say, a dark environment. Here is an example of a simple puzzle where we can grab different items and I can prove to them that I am at least three years old. I think. Maybe not. Maybe I failed this one. We'll try just one more here. There we go. Uh, this is, again, there's so many options here with this game. I'm not going to take too much time with it. But this is just a small taste of, you know, pretty much showing off different physics that you can do with just the hand tracking. All right, let's move on. Finally, we've got Maze 1. This is a spatial maze that allows us to kind of see this nice view in 3D. We can select which square we want the guy to go to. So I'm trying to see, let me move this down to get a better view. We got this guy that's uh, trying to fight us. I'm gonna try to get him toward this gate here. I'm not sure if I can fight this guy. Well, maybe not. I think what I might have to do is to get this guy out of this gate. There we go. And hopefully he comes down this way. Nope. I think I'm just going to have to go all the way around. Close call. And there we go. Okay. So a little bit of strategy involved in this one. Now we can go to the next level. You can see they get more and more complicated, of course. And that is all I will show you is a little teaser for that one. And that's all I got for today. Uh, let me know if there's any specific apps that you guys want to see reviewed. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.